Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to give you two versions of Jet André. Chat André is a beautiful tune, French tune, and it works either as a cafe type tune with accordion or as a gypsy jazz tune. It was recorded by Django in 1938 and has become a gypsy jazz standard. But we're going to start off by doing the more romantic uh, original version. It was first recorded by Rina Ketty in 1938 and was a very popular song uh, during World War II in France. Uh, Jat André means I will wait for you and it's kind of um, uh, waiting for the, the soldiers to come back home again. Um, it was actually based on an Italian song written a couple of years before um, and that is also said to have been inspired uh, earlier by um, the humming chorus in Puccini's Madame Butterfly and if you listen to that the, um, the first few notes of the tune are indeed very clearly sitting there within <laughs> Madame Butterfly. So I'm going to give you the basic tune at a, a medium to slow tempo and then I'll show you a few ways that you can uh, dress up that tune a bit. So that's fairly straightforward. Um, it'll, it will benefit a lot from some nice vibrato, either a, a quite lush vibrato or maybe a, a fast vibrato which is kind of reminiscent of Edith Piaf. Um, a bit like Grappelli's vibrato which I've never fully mastered and I'd love to. But uh, yeah, think a lot about vibrato. Um, quite a lot of position changing in order to slide up. That kind of thing. And breaking up those long notes is great. And just decorate those little phrases. Slides up to the notes are good. And a few double stops just to emphasise maybe the C chords and a few others. Let's just try that with the backing. Uh, two, one. Now let's look at the jazz version. So it's normally played a bit faster than that, 
and you're also going to want to break up a lot of the crotchets into quavers so you can get some swing. Uh, so let's just try once through the basic tune and I'll just concentrate on that um, pretty close to the main melody but with uh, broken up notes. in the key of C. The first part is pretty straightforward. Uh, one of my tests that I will often do uh, if I want to know how uh, a tune is working is to try playing the major pentatonic scale all the way through and that will tell you which are the easy bits and <laughs> which are the hard bits where you better take notice. So just for entertainment let's try that. Um, some of this will sound quite bad but it will show you which bits are sitting comfortably within the key of C and which are not. From the beginning, C, C, the E flat diminished just fits it within C, and then um, when we get to that D minor and A7, for the next four bars, you've got to be thinking about thinking in, in D minor rather than in C. Uh, and then we have a 2 5 one. So for that part you can be thinking more towards the C. When it comes to the C7 you've got to emphasise that 7. And uh, a distinct change to F. And you really want to emphasise the F minor. Uh, even though the melody goes straight over that F minor, I think when you're soloing you should definitely do something with that F minor. And then um, same again, and we've got the, uh, D, the 2 5 1 on the turnaround. And uh, I've got a video all about 2 5 1s if you're interested in that. Um, so let's try a solo going through that.
watching. If you're interested, I have a, um, a PDF collection of uh, around a dozen French romantic tunes of this type. And uh, that is available free to everyone who joins me on Patreon. If you'd like a copy of the dots just for this one, then do subscribe, send me an email, and I'd be very happy to send you a copy. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.